set the pace when I'm running. I always. Namaste, friends. So today is chapter 103 in the entire Python, and in pandas, this is lesson three. So in the previous lesson, other than seeing, you know, what is a, you know, the data frame and the series of the world. We also saw towards the end, I mean, how to locate. So that was that was the thing, right? Part one and part two. We also saw how to locate, which is the labeling. So we saw a bunch of things. So we also, towards the end, we also saw how to read, um, you know, a CSV file. And we had some problems. I did mention, like, you know, uh, I, you know, do it in English and as well as in Tamil. So I'll tell you why that problem actually happened. Initially, I was giving .txt, it didn't work. And then when I removed it, it actually worked. So, you know, I'll also tell you why it actually happened in today's lecture. And, uh, you know, today's lecture is more of reading from a CSV and a JSON. So basically, if you actually see this, you know, I can actually convert this to a string. I can actually take this and say, like, you know, I can take this code. And I can actually put this as import pandas as PD. So by now, this is like something crystal clear. I can say pd read csv and since the dot here if you see here this is exactly what I save okay keyword english data one and there is no extension so what I will do is read csv but I will say keyword english data one right yeah data one so this is exactly what i did so last time i, I was giving dot txt didn't work but you know this time i'm not going to give so and then when i removed it, it actually worked and then i'm actually converting this to a string so if i actually run this see here i get this as an answer awesome right so this is exactly what happened last time because i was giving a dot txt and it didn't it was not able to figure out where it actually existed so it was my bad so I'm happy that I was I'm able to clarify it today. Uh, so my apologies for yesterday. Now the second thing is, if you want, this is the same thing. You can actually import, you can actually read, and you can actually print the entire thing. This is just printing the entire thing, and I could say like you know, this keyword English data one, and I can actually print the entire thing instead of converting to string. So this is what it is and we actually saw you know it is going to be like 169 rows and four columns this is exactly what it is all right now there is something called as a max row so if you see here it didn't give me you know it gave me this four and then it gave me the last five and then it told me 169 rows right so if you want to find the max rows you can actually there is an option setting Okay, so in the options setting, you can actually check what is a max row available. So for me, let me actually check. So if I want to see what is my max row available, I will go to my PD options. And then it is just simple English. Display my maximum rows. So display maximum rows. Okay. So it is 60. So I can display up to 60. So if I want to increase beyond that, then I need to increase it. Okay, so this is my max row. If I want to increase beyond that, I need to increase it. So here I go, here I go. And then what I say here is, I would say import this as this. Okay. Um, and then I would say like, you know, import pandas. And then like, you know, if I, I would say like, you know, max rows is 9999. And then I would say, you English data one. And then I'm actually printing this. So now this gives me the entire thing. This is exactly what I'm trying. It gives me the entire thing. So the thing is PD options display max row and this is what it is. So I can display the entire thing. Now what I can do is, now next thing is if I have to read something like a dictionary. So if I have to read something like a dictionary, which is a JSON, see this is a JSON, just see how it is looking. I have a duration here and this is in a form of a dictionary okay so jumbled up and then I have pulse here and then I have a duration a max pulse and I have calories so what I will actually do is I will take this entire data set as it is okay
I'll take the entire thing as it is. I'll say control C. What I will do is I'll go here. I'll go here, I'll say new in my text file. I'll place this and here what I will actually say is keyword <clears throat> keyword English JSON dot JSON. Yeah, that one, two, three, I can actually go from there. I'll actually save it. And I'll actually save it like this. Now this has been saved. So keyword English JSON. So what I will do is if I have to read this and then I can actually convert this into a string, I will take this code, I will go here, uh, something wrong, uh, yeah, yeah, it, the previous one actually came which I don't need. So I can cut this entire, I can cut this entire thing, yeah, I can cut this entire thing I did, uh, somewhere I can say run, so now it will give me a new one, so I will take this thing. I will go here. So import pandas now instead of read CSV, I can say read JSON. And then I could say this keyword, this keyword English JSON dot JSON. And then I'm actually converting this to a string. Very simple, right? See here, I got everything. And since I've already given the maximum value before, it is giving me this maximum value here. All right. Uh, I think this is good enough for today. Um, you know, uh, I, I trust you have actually seen this lecture, probably enjoyed the same. If you have any questions, kindly contact me. I'll actually try to help you to the best of my abilities. Like always, I would like to thank two persons. One is you for giving me a golden time. And the other is my wife, Jayashti, following me to follow my passion. We'll be seeing you next time. Thank you. Take care. Enjoy.